What's going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Now I was going to do the Wonder Woman on horse video today because I did get her in and everything. Uh, however, there's some timely pre-orders I wanted to go over real quickly. So we'll shoot her video on Friday, promise. Uh, but uh, this is not the main reason is the DeLorean. Uh, no, but uh, I did want to show this to you real quickly because I do think this looks amazing. I think uh, Iron Studios knocked this out of the park. I love the base, the characters, their poses, the fact that DeLorean's flying. I think it's freaking awesome. This is one tenth scale, so it'd fit in like a Magic case, for example. It's not super tall, you know, it's like 22 inches wide, it has light up. I think they did a really good job on the sculpt. Yeah, it's 14 inches deep, 9 inches high, weighs nearly 40 pounds. Uh, so, I mean, overall, it looks amazing. You're getting a fully resin DeLorean with two, you know, Marty and Doc. It's really the only, like, it's the best Back to the Future statue I've seen. Outside of this, you just have really the one-tenth version, like Solo, Marty's, and docks and then you have the hot toys which are one six but the biggest thing i hate about this is that price that is just absolutely wild and i think iron studios is out of their freaking mind 2250 for a nine inch statue that's 22 inches wide one tenth i mean think about it my the one tenth t-rex entire diet like just the one tenth t-rex which includes a car a t-rex two children Tons of detail, much more detailed base was twelve fifty, or I th was it twelve fifty or is it fifteen hundred? No, I think it was twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine for the one tenth T Rex I got over there, which has a car, has a T Rex, has two children, one tenth, and a much more detailed base, and it was nearly a thousand dollars cheaper. So that's why I'm basing this off of the fact the 110 T-Rex, no production costs have increased, but that had a freaking T-Rex on it. Come on. This doesn't have no giant T-Rex and it's a thousand dollars more. I'm sorry, but Iron Shoes, you're out of your freaking mind charging that much. This should be a thousand dollars less. If this was $1,250, honestly, I would probably buy this. I think it looks amazing. And I do want a Back to the Future statue, but now my weight will have to, you know, I'll have to continue waiting. I thought, man, I could easily put that inside the Magic case right there. That would look sick. But I'm going to have to pass due to that price. I just can't justify it. If this was, you know, like a 1-6 scale, then yeah, I would uh, buy that. It'd be huge and amazing. But for this price, you might as well just get the Hot Toys, to be honest. It's going to be much bigger. It won't have a base. It's going to be plastic. But at least it's freaking 1-6 scale where, you know, it's double the size of this. So for me, this is honestly, statue-wise, amazing. Price-wise, 0 out of 10. They overpriced it by $1,000. Uh, I know production costs have increased, but man alive, that's just too expensive. Although, if you are interested in getting, you know, more Back to the Future, you can always just do the one-tenth uh, Marty and Doc. You know, there's lots of Back to the Future stuff here. Heck, you could buy this premium motion and just get the one-tenths. Get yeah, this one tenth uh, for three hundred. Although I'd have to do the Marty on the hoverboard, which I know they fixed. But you can also just buy just the Marty or just the dock. That's the thing, you know. And this one looks great. Although I'd rather have him on the hoverboard, the other one they made, versus this one. I think this is cool. I like this Doc. You know, Doc Brown likeness is good. He's looking at his clocks. He's always in a hurry. But I'd rather get this Back to the Future one versus the other Marty. Although I think the likeness is better on the other one. Although I think this isn't the updated images yet. Because I know they fixed it. Yeah, this looks like the old images. I know they fixed it. But I'd rather get this one and another dot brown. If, if I was to get it. But if I was to realistically do this, I would just do this deluxe die around. But it's just too expensive. Now you can buy just the car for $2,000, which is still just way too expensive. They sold Jeeps for like $600, uh, one-tenth Jeeps. I know this is a lot more detailed, you know, versus a Jeep, but still, it's not justified that price. So, it is what it is. You know, if you're a huge fan of Back to the Future, though, and you absolutely must have this, you know, everyone has a price. 
And, for, you know, for me, if it was cheaper, I'd buy it. But for other more hardcore fans, I can understand they would want this. So if you are interested, I'll put a link in the description below where you can purchase this. However, the main reason for this video is Leatherface. Dun, dun, dun. We finally got PCS Leatherface picks in the house. And I got to show this to you guys. So there is two versions. And I am kind of baffled which one to get, to be honest. Because here's the thing. I like the pose on the right one better. I like the fact it's the chainsaw better on the right. The left one... I think I like the base more, uh, not this part, I like that better than that, but I love the door. The fact it's like coming out of the house, I think that's unique and cool looking. And I like the costume and the face better on this one. So it's like, ugh, I love the chainsaw. When I think leather face, I think chainsaw, you know, not a hammer. Uh, I know, as far as I know, I've only seen this movie once, keep in mind. I watched, like, all the Texas Chainsaw Massacres only, like, one time. And I do want to rewatch this. But I don't believe he actually had the chainsaw, to be honest. But the Sideshow statue had the chainsaw, and I always loved it. So I wish PCS gave me the option of the chainsaw. So I'm really disappointed they didn't do that. It's like, ah! Oh! So it's very annoying. Uh, but... You know, they're trying to go for movie accuracy, you know. This is the scene where he is wildly running down on the road with his chainsaw, trying to chainsaw someone in half. So, they are doing movie accurate. It just happens to be that I preferred the look of this costume, the butcher, uh, versus the pretty woman. I like the face of this better versus the pretty woman. Uh, let's get some better images, though. Now, I wanted to show you guys real quickly some photoshops I did of this statue in my setup. Because this is where Leatherface is going. Right next to Myers behind me. Uh, so, here is the pretty woman. Uh, you know, chainsaw up. Has more, probably, I think, more height presence. But I think the other one, honestly, will have more presence because of the back wall. You know, and then this one's a little bit darker. But check that out. Now, let's look at the other one. Alrighty, sorry it's blurry, but here is the other one, uh, freaking Facebook Messenger. Always sends photos crappy. Uh, here's the other one, although I think I made it a little bit too big, but you can get, you know, gain the idea, and I'll, uh, actually put my video thumbnail as this, but I think this one honestly goes better in the collection color-wise with the door. I think it'll just look really good. Uh, having my gray background will look awesome. So I think I'm going to be going for this one. So here is the image from Sideshow Con when they were, you know, reviewing it on the third day. That's the part I mostly watched. Although I did like the PCS Ghost Rider. I thought that was pretty cool. The Drago, I'll do a separate video on him, but I thought the likeness was off. Just like with the Rocky, I guess they'll match both likeness off. <laughs> uh, but yeah, here they are. I mean, I know this one is taller, but this one feels like it has more presence because of that back wall. Kind of wish it had more of an underbase, to be brutally honest. But going next to Myers, Myers doesn't have an underbase, and he's on a stair, so this is like a entrance outside of the house. So I think it does fit and work good. You know, so... Overall, I, I think they did an amazing job uh, on both of them, to be honest. It's very tough on which one to get. Uh, because I'm limited on space, I think ultimately I'm going to be going for the left one. Plus, it's $100 cheaper. It's $15.39, I believe. And then the right one is $16.39. And then you can get the ultimate edition where you get like both of them for $3,000. So you get a you know nice good discount if you buy both of them. I think if you're a hardcore whore only collector, absolutely buy both. You know, it's a no-brainer to buy both, to be honest. But for me, you know, my whore setup really sort of begins right here. Well, more or less right here. I consider him whorish, but also, you know, fantasy. But more or less blade all the way until really right here. And then it goes Alien and Predator, unless you want to consider that. But that is all my space I got. So I should absolutely be able to fit it there, uh, no problem. Uh, depth might worry me slightly. I mean, I have 20 inches there, a uh, little over 20 inches. So we'll get depth in, uh, information tomorrow when it is officially up for pre-order, which will be today when I host this video. Uh, but I know they said it's about 30, almost 31 inches tall. 
Uh, and then the chainsaw one's, uh, you know, like three inches taller, I think like 34. So keep in mind, Myers is 32, but that is because he is at the top of three stairs. So Leatherface will be a little bit more forward. Although technically I could scoot this shelf back two inches. The only reason I have it propped forward is because of this. I'd have to have that hang off the shelf. But I do not want Leatherface blocking my angles from viewing this. So that is one slight disadvantage of doing the hammer one. Although, technically, I could just move Myers to the left and do Leatherface there. You know, but I'm 100% getting it. Uh, no doubt. It is probably one of the final horror pieces I honestly collect. I think price is decent considering pricing nowadays. Uh, you know, with the that real hair and the detail, it looks phenomenal. So I think PCS uh, definitely did a great job overall. And it's going to be a fine addition to my collection. Ultimately, I think I am doing the hammer one, although I'd love to get both, to be honest. Although I'm just not as big a fan of, as, of Pretty Woman as the more classic butcher look. So I think the butcher look goes better in the collection, though. Even though I really wish it had a freaking chainsaw. At least Ash has a chainsaw. So we can count that. You know, at least one of my whore has a chainsaw. You know, I don't have any with a hammer. I got pretty much every weapon out there, but don't have a hammer. At least I do have one chainsaw. So I'm very excited for this, though. Hopefully it ships next year. I'm sure they'll have some date probably end of next year. Uh, but I'll be pre-ordering this immediately, and, you know, I have a lot of horror collector fans I talk to a lot, and, uh, they're all ordering it, most of them the, you know, the Ultimate Killer Edition, which is limited to 150, where the other two are limited to 400, so I do foresee this selling out, especially how much of a hit Myers is, and the fact we have Jason, and Freddy, and Ash, and Pennywise, you know, there's so many iconic horror characters in one third which is the best scale and Leatherface you know is the big four you know I have the big three he's the fourth big one I mean the last one really is Ghostface which I do really want I I need to see it if it blows me away I'll have to figure out space somehow uh but yeah I'm very excited to add Leatherface to the collection I've been looking forward to this for a very long time I do not think uh PCS disappointed I don't think it's mind-blowingly good but then again, it's Leatherface. It's not going to be. I don't think it will top those two. But I think it will be as good as Myers. Maybe slightly better? And Myers is very impressive. I freaking love that statue. I don't think it will top Ash. Ash is absolutely incredible. Uh, but I definitely think it will be as good as Myers, if not better. Probably better, though, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, I'm very excited. If any of you are going to be ordering this, please use the links below, folks. It does help the channel. Uh, so if you're ordering any of these uh, leather face statues, which I highly recommend you do, considering that edition size, uh, we know PCS quality is going to be on point, especially with their whore line. That is their, one of their biggest selling lines. They said they are going to a good factory for this. So I foresee a sellout, especially on the killer edition, probably in the first uh, few days. And then the other two will be a sellout within weeks to months. But absolutely, use my link below if you're ordering this statue. I'm going to be posting this video live the moment this goes up for pre-order. So I will have the links below. Uh, so use that link. I'll have all three links to all three versions as well as the DeLorean. So let me know if you're pre-ordering it. Which one do you guys like better? Uh, it is really a hard toss-up. A lot of my friends honestly like this one better. They like the chainsaw, they love the pretty woman, the scene. Uh, but oh, man, I love that yellow apron and it's so, God, they're both so good to be brutally honest. It's so tough. I mean, if you think about it, technically it's the exact same costume, except for this is an apron and that he's wearing like a coat. That's the big difference. Then obviously the face, which is different. So yeah, most of my friends are doing the pretty woman, the ones that are not uh, buying both. Anyways, folks, that is it. I'm going to give you a quick sneak peek of Wonder Woman on horse because uh, I did want to deliver it to you guys today, but I wanted to show Leatherface because I've been waiting on that pre-order, but we're just going to do a quick... <laughs> you can pause the video if you want to see that, but she was worth it, is all I'll say. Wait till the video on Friday, guys. You're going to love it. It's 36 minutes long. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.